Hey, if you gong gong ah, read hate nice like this ah, and then hate to Malaysia ah, thinking that you don't need to bring your passport ah, then can you swim well or not ah? <laughs> So, so, uh, so, in case you didn't know, Singapore is trying its best uh, to go passport free. And also, uh, we are the first rate. Last September, uh, it's announced that we will be one of the first few countries uh, to introduce a passport free departure system. Currently, to leave the country, we have to use our passport, meaning to verify our identity. Right? The goal is to, uh, in the future, use biometrics, like eyes uh, or fingerprints. Uh. Back then, uh, it was announced that this will start in Changi Airport from the first half of 2024. So, if I fly to Thailand, don't need passport anymore. Don't need when you leave Singapore. La. But need la, once you land in the other country. Ma. Oh, siao liao la. What if we take the plane out? La, and then we are Thailand. La, and then we know passport how? Easy. La. When you are in Thailand, la, just cancel your flight when you are in Thailand. And then you have a free flight back. Ma, cost to pilot. Ma. Bodo la. why not just uh, move uh, the passport uh, from the house uh, to the Thailand airport uh, You think smart, don't think <coughs> Yeah, so uh, no matter what, uh, we still need our passport uh. It's the same uh, for this announcement From 19 March, uh, if you're heading to Malaysia uh, through the causeway uh, or twice uh, via car uh, You can just use a QR code instead of a passport You see, the cool thing is that instead of using biometrics or fingerprint uh, This is much much easier Instead, you just need to download an app and then from there uh, Store your passport details uh, in it It's very easy one, uh. just take a picture can uh. The cool thing is that you can even store other people's passport details in your app eh? Then uh, before you head to Malaysia, uh, you can generate a QR code with the app uh. So this QR code uh, can have just one person's passport details Or up to 10 people's passport details uh. But why not each one of us uh, have a QR code eh? The reason for that uh, is that when you are at the checkpoint uh, Just a driver need to scan his QR code And if you have 4 people in your car, you can just scan one QR code ma. According to ICA, uh, it can save 20 seconds for a car with 4 people eh? And almost 1 minute uh, for a car with 10 people you see, currently, uh, what we do is that we just stop the car there and then pass the ICA officer uh, all our passports. The officer uh, will have to manually open each passport and check the people inside the car. ICA say if most cars use QR code, uh, waiting times can reduce by over 30%. Eh. A lot, eh, wow. you know what you can do with 30% less time or not? Say, uh. Wait more at Malaysia checkpoint instead. Uh. Now, don't be shocked at this news. Uh. This has been highlighted many times before. Uh. So it's not like uh, ICA uh, suddenly decided to do this uh, after seeing many Swifty coming to Singapore recently. Uh. One of the key goals uh, is to make things faster and also for better security. Of course, it's to make Singapore high-tech. Uh. In case you didn't know, uh, QR code scanning uh, is so mainstream that I think sooner or later, uh, our NRIC uh, will eventually have one there once. Uh. Logging to any website that requires SIM pass, you need QR code. Going to the gym, you need QR code. Ordering Go Hyung from Zheng Haochi restaurant, you need QR code. What you probably didn't know uh, is that QR actually stands for quick response, which is why uh, QR code uh, makes everything so so much faster since its name uh, already suggests speed. Uh, in the meantime, uh, if you think I learned something, uh, consider subscribing uh, and also watch this video uh, to be slightly smarter.